Sommige mensen revolutioneren landen, anderen revolutioneren testen. En uh, ja, ik sta hier met, uh, what's your name? Tia. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> and you are going to revolutionize testing, right? Yes. Uh, so I wrote this down because it's very technical. Um, first question is actually really simple. How are you going to revolutionize testing? We are revolutionizing testing in my team that's testing to the power of AI. So as you can guess, we're revolutionizing testing with AI solutions. So if you're a tester, you know that your workflow can be optimized, you're probably using test automation, but let's take it to another level and implement AI solutions to help you even more with your workflow. Um, so you're using AI, yes. artificial intelligence. Yes. How are you using this? In, in, try to uh, formulate it really simple, that even I can understand it. <laughs> okay, so for example, if you're doing a bug, bug prediction, yeah. you can use AI algorithms to help you predict bugs uh, from different deployments in testing software, or you can let machine learning algorithms actually find the bugs for you with reinforcement learning. So, uh, for example, imagine this, you're playing FIFA. So, you can see that if you're playing with a computer, the computer is much better at, uh, than you at getting the ball into the goal. Uh, likewise, you can have machine learning algorithms find the bugs much quicker than you would and see the patterns which you wouldn't see. So that's how we're applying this. All right. The computer is not that good at beating me in FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time I hear about that. Side note. Um, so you introduced ADA. ADA, yes. ADA. That's our main solution, yes. Can you tell me a bit about that? Okay, so ADA is our artificial data amplifier. So if you're a tester or if you're working with AI solutions, you know that testing, uh, for testing you need a lot of data. And also for AI solutions, obviously, you need a lot of data. So that's how we actually uh, are approaching this. We went to a couple of clients, we saw that they are using, for example, data that's in production, which isn't supposed to be done because of GDPR regulations. So we said, okay, let's take a step back and see how actually we can create data that can be uh, used without GDPR uh, constraints. And that's how we uh, the data came about. So since the data that we are generating is artificial, there's no GDPR constraints on it, you can use it, you can test with it, you can use it for AI algorithms, anything you want. And the beauty of it is that all of your data points are conserved, all the variables are conserved, and all the correlations between them as well. So statistical significance is still preserved in the artificial data, so it has the same look and feel as the real data. All right, so what are the risks of not using artificial data, GDPR-wise? Oh, the risks are huge. So uh, the fines go up to millions, depending on uh, what level your company is and how much uh, actually net worth it has. It can go to up to, I think, 5% of net worth. Uh, don't hold me on that. I don't know the exact number. But there's a lot of uh, GDPR uh, fines that uh, you might be at risk if you're using production data and if you're using production data in AI solutions. So you're solving that by using yes. data, uh, artificial data. Yes. All right. Very <laughs> nice. How do we? How do we get started? If you're looking at this and you think that's okay. something I need. If you see, yes, I'm working with production data. I'm not really sure if that's ethical. If you see that there's a lot of privacy issues with your data, just come to us. If you have your data, we can work with that data. If it's tabular, if it's image data. Any, any data you want, even we, we do text as well, so any data you want synthesized, just come to us, we're testing to the power of AI team, and also I think our contact will be somewhere in this post. Feel free to reach out to us, we can help you uh, revolutionize your workflow. Very good, thank you very much. You're welcome, thank you for having me.